let's talk about local storage and session storage today. These APIs allow you to store data on a user's device locally. However, they do so in a slightly different ways. Let's dive into each of them and see how you can inspect and update these values with DevTools. As you can see in my game demo, I have a button that allows users to choose their favorite theme and the play button to increase the game progress. When I open a new tab, the theme selection remains dark. On the other hand, the game progress is gone. The theme button uses local storage to store theme preference indefinitely, while the game progress uses session storage to store the data temporarily. The local storage data can be accessed by the website at any time, even after the user closes and reopens their browsers or tab. In DevTools, you can use the console to view and modify the local storage value. But even better, we have a tab for that. Once you open the application panel, expand the local storage item and select the site where you store the key value pairs. The table shows the items in your local storage. If the list goes too long, you can apply filters to search for it. You can start editing any item by double-clicking on them. Click Enter to persist the change. Once you refresh the page, the theme changes to light again. Otherwise, you can double-click in the empty area to add a new item. If you want to verify if the item is safe, you can lock its value with the console. Finally, to delete an item, you can either right-click on it or use the delete keyboard shortcut. On the other hand, session storage stores data only for the durations of a user session. That means that when the user closes their browsers or tab, session storage will be cleared as well. Besides that, each browser tab has its own session storage. Here, I have two tabs with completely different game progress. They are independent from each other. To inspect and modify session storage items, you can use the Session Storage tab under the Application panel. When you update the progress of a page, the values reflect on the table immediately. In case it doesn't, you can use the Refresh button to refresh manually. The tab supports editing and adding new items. Use the Clear All button to remove all the entries. All right, go to these links to find out more about local storage and session storage. Good luck in your web development journey, everyone. Follow me on Mastodon or Twitter to get regular tips on DevTools. That's all for now. See you for the next DevTools tips. Ciao!